Hello, I'm Anmini Saraswati, and this is day five of the Think, Look, Protect project to honor the fact that April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. So I'm here at the lovely Sather Gate in Sproul Plaza in Berkeley, California, at my alma mater. I've been standing here for hours with my signs, having many interesting experiences, as you can imagine, because of course there are hundreds of people coming by, um, everyone from students to teachers to support staff to support workers to all of the um, folks, even from the neighborhood, <laughs> so have come up to talk to me. So what kind of responses have I been getting from the 20-something educational set? Because you know what, some of this that I've been doing this month has actually been inspired. Do you know about the woman um, and the Columbia campus who was raped and then walked around on the campus with the mattress that she was raped on and then she she just walked everywhere with it and, and made her point and called out her rapist um, because uh, apparently the administration did, didn't deal with it in a way and, and she wanted to protect all the other women on campus by making her point. Well, when I was reading about that for the first split second, just arising unbidden without my permission, I actually thought to myself in a knee-jerk response, oh, well, she must be angry and bitter. Uh, and then as, and as the thought was forming, I was, I was watching it and, and I just was disgusted with myself about why, why would I automatically, so for all I know, she's a super happy-go-lucky person and she's just doing her part to, you know, to, to protect the women around her. And then I started thinking, God, you know, we probably all assume that anyone who's gonna get out and talk about these things is coming from a, a, a dry, bitter place. But that's just because of the cultural overlay that we project on. And so then I thought, oh, you know, I'm not like angry and bitter and walking around. You know, I'm actually very happy. I have a job that I love. I, I have so many things in my life that are so beautiful. I'm actually walking around feeling blessed and enriched and, and, and just so full of love all the time. <laughs> you probably think that's funny, but it's completely true. But then I thought, well, wait a minute. You know, I should join this woman's voice because I'm fun to know. And so, so these thoughts started to be born. Right, with the idea of the more that women who have experienced these situations in their lives get out there and just say, look, I'm not ashamed. Look, I, I don't have a problem. I can talk about this. Do you want to listen? Do you want to think about it? Do you want to be, you know, part of the solution? And so that's what I'm posing here at the Cal campus. And I've gotten a range of responses, right? So I've gotten, um, you know, young guys that burst out laughing. I'm not really wanting to go into their mind to hear what made that response a couple times. Um, you know, lots of women giving the thumbs up and, you know, some people even just looking really uncomfortable. Um, and, and I get that. So again, as always, I'm speaking when spoken to and just standing here with my signs, doing my small part with my small voice to try to remind us all that this culture will change if we all change ourselves. And if we remember to think about this difficult subject, to look for it in our lives because it's rampant. It's in the workplace, right? It's in social places. It's in, it's in homes. It's everywhere. And to protect to think of it as something that we're not going to shy away from doing our small part to keep everyone safe. Thanks. <laughs>